Hello, I'm Tom Krauser, and this is a short tutorial on the mechanics of how to use the Krauser Guide for Digital Printing Prices, so let's get started. All Krauser Guides are Windows-based programs that reside on your computer. In fact, you may put them on all of your PCs within one location. And no, we don't have a Mac version, although we continue to look for a software solution that would allow us to publish this for Mac. Of course, if you have a newer Mac, you may run this software under Windows emulation. Now, it's your choice, but you can have this program open and running in the background at all times. The memory requirement is small. And this is the Krauser Guide for Digital Printing. We are in tab 1, Index and Information, and this may be the only time some of the boys will ever see it since it's the instructions section. Nevertheless, let's drop the menu down at the top. Here you see the various chapters, each of which answers a specific question about the guide, such as which price level should I choose, how prices were developed, or details about the various forms in the guide. Just click and go to that information. Now let's get to the good stuff. The tabs tell us the size and type of paper stock being priced, basically 8.5 by 11 or 14, or 12 by 18, which indicates the size stock running through the digital device. The larger 12 by 18 tables may be used for any maximum paper stock of your machine, whether it be 11 by 17, 12 by 18, or 13 by 19. And there are three basic kinds of stocks. Text and offset, which includes coded and uncoded. Card cover, again including coded and uncoded. And carbonless, both pre-collated and singles. Also note we have tabs for variable data including both text and graphics as well as business cards and postcards and a full boundary section. Now let's look at the basic form. We selected 12 by 18 text and offset just by clicking on tab 5. We also selected the Y or middle price level, the combo one side view or display, a paper cost of $40 per thousand sheets, and a second side calculation method of market. And note we are looking at a one side image table. We'll come back to all of these choices and explain them more fully in a moment. In all of our views or forms, black imaging only prices are in the gray tables and the full color imaging prices are in the pink tables. Quantity of sheets through your digital device is indicated in the quantity column in this view and goes from 1 to 5,000 and additional thousands. The second column indicates the price of a single original at the various quantities. So our middle book price for imaging 500 sheets of 12 by 18 text and offset costing $40 per thousand is $90. Notice how the highlight bar helps you and how the price actually enlarges and turns red when you hover. The red signals that you may then use our one-click capture to copy and paste this number into another application. Just click once and toggle to the other application, like you're estimating software, or in this case, an Excel spreadsheet, and hit Shift Insert or copy paste this number into that application. Okay, back to our Combo 1 form. On the black image side, columns 3, 4, and 5 are for multiple page originals. For instance, 100 of 1 is priced at $30, but 100 of a 100 originals is priced at $4.58 per original. This reduction in price takes into consideration the quantity discount for the large number of impressions, as well as ads for collating and the additional rip time needed for the larger file. So the price is per original. 100 of 1 would be $30, but 100 of 100 originals at $4.58 per original would be $458. Now, do you stick with these prices precisely? Well, that's up to you. If you wish to give the 100 discount to someone with 90 originals, well, that's your call. Now columns 6, 7, 8, and 9 give you multiple on values. If you are running 100 impressions of 12 by 18 text offset costing $40 a thousand, and you had four finished originals on each image sheet, then the price including imposition and normal cutting would be $35.28. If the job required additional cutting, then you would value the run from the single original column and add for appropriate cutting from the boundary section. 
As for full color prints on the same $40 per 1012 by 18 text offset, we would use the full color table to the right. Again, the number of image pieces is found in the first column, with the price for the single original in the second column. So the price for 50 images would be $58.33. And the logic holds with the multiple on columns 3, 4, 5, and 6 so that four images on the same 12 by 18 text offset sheet costing $40 per thousand is 6361. And again, that includes imposition as well as normal cutting or chopping apart. About imaging on two sides. Well, change the paper display to combo two sides and then you're alerted to the two sided price by the yellow display. So in this view, the number of two-sided pieces will be multiplied by the price. For instance, 50 originals to be imaged two sides would result in 25 two-sided pieces, which would be multiplied by the price, or 50 times 2082, or a total of $1,041. When we did our price study, we found printers priced second side two different ways, what we call the takeaway as well as the market method. First takeaway. If you sold one image for three cents and the paper cost one cent, therefore the price for imaging that piece of paper was two cents, what would you charge to image the second side? Well, many printers say that since they got two cents for imaging side one, well, they would charge two cents for imaging side two plus the paper cost of one cent equals a total of five cents. Another way to do that is to multiply the three cents by the one side price by two to get six cents and then take away the duplicate paper cost of one cent and hence the name takeaway. The market method is different in that another batch of printers price on the total number of images regardless of side one or side two. So 500 images on one side may be four cents each and a thousand be sold at three cents each. Of course, the problem here is that we have a fault line or price squeeze. 500 at four cents would be sold for a total of $20, where a thousand at three cents would be sold for a total of $30. So the net effect is that the second side is being sold for $10, or less than half of what was charged for imaging the first side. That's why I don't really recommend it. But some want to do it, and that's the reason that we provided you with this method. And you may easily flick from one to the other methods at your choice using this drop-down menu in the Krauser Guide. Notice that the takeaway method has a pink highlighted header along with the words takeaway in red to alert you that you're using the higher price method for calculating the second side price. And of course, this explanation of takeaway and market methods may be found in your program under tab one, index and information at any time. Our next view is the multiple on tables. Remember that the values are the same for all views, it's just that the information is presented in different forms for your ease of use. Here we see the number of impressions going through the digital device in column one, along with both the black imaging and the full color prices in adjacent columns. Notice also that we've given you finished piece quantities in the two, four, six, and eight on tables as additional information. This is still the same run length as 4 on 100 images equals a total of 400 finished pieces. We would expect that you would use this view if you were pricing a fair amount of number on jobs. Finally, we have the multiple page original view. This is for all black images, so we're able to present one side on the gray tables to the left, as well as two side pricing in the yellow tables to the right. We've also provided additional multiple page price breaks as compared with the combo tables. A slightly different view of the combo form is contained within the carbonless section. Here, co column one indicates number of impressions and column two indicates the number of sets, with 200 impressions of two-part carbonless yielding 100 sets. In addition, we've added a column for a single pass plus numbering 
This is a single number valued from the numbering table in the boundary section. Should you need other numbering options, use the single pass price and add as needed from the boundary section. And those are the views, forms, or page displays that you will see in the Krauser Guide to Digital Printing Prices. Now, what if you wanted to print a price page to refer to later? Well, go to the view of your choice and then to press this print icon, which brings up a typical print dialog box. Here you have various controls allowing you to adjust the size and look of the printed page. Make sure you select landscape for proper output. And remember, our digital guide also has price guidance on what to charge for variable data and graphics, one of the best guides in the business for doing so, by the way. This section also includes a predefined price list for business cards as well as postcards on various costs of card and cover stock. And don't forget that because the program can connect to the internet, we're able to update your software as well as make it easy for you to get support. Now a final feature for you and that's bookmarks which operate just like favorites link on a web browser. Go to any page in the book you would like to save and click on bookmarks. Then click on add favorite and name it whatever you wish. That way regardless of where you are in the guide you may quickly click bookmark and then select your favorite page from your favorite list and there you are. Finally, someone always asks why we didn't print all these values out in a book or manual. Well, if we did, it would be a really big, big book. For the digital guide, we'd have over 13,000 pages and 13 million price points, and that's why it's in software form. Our goal is to provide you with usable and actionable price information to translate survey and marketing data into something you can use. We see you typically putting this into your print shop estimating software, regardless of what you use, whether it's PrintSmith or something else. However, some will use our guide for specific prices, so that's why we've added features such as the one-click capture of prices to make it easy for you to paste prices into other applications. But this isn't a substitute for estimating software. Estimating software has many downstream advantages, such as when you're redoing jobs or in the area of accounts receivable. Nonetheless, our job is to provide you with usable and actionable prices that are fair and rational to you and your customer, as well as to your staff, so they can be quickly administered. The question was, how to operate the Krauser Guide to Windows? And I hope you agree that the answer is simply, well, you operate it very easily. I'm Tom Krauser. Thank you for listening.